Welcome back to today's Year Duel, where I'm trying to guess what year these events happened. And after each guess, I'll be told how hot or cold I am. So as part of the agreements made at Utrecht to end the, raw, the War of the Spanish Succession, Great Britain and Spain sign a Treaty of Commerce and Navigation. King Philip V of Spain issues an auto accordado that changes the order of succession for the Spanish throne, allowing a female descendant within the House of Bourbon to rule. And the Treaty of Schwedt is signed between Russia and Brandenburg, Prussia, with the latter accepting the annexation of Baltic territories and paying Russia expenses in return for the southern part of Pomerania, recently taken from Sweden in the Great Northern War. Now, this is definitely not my area of expertise, but I feel like it's something I should know. I've certainly heard of King Philip V of Spain, although I suppose it's possible I've just heard of one of the other King Philips. When was the War of Spanish Succession? I feel like it's likely to have been within the latter half of the last millennium rather than being any earlier than that. Let's take a random stab. I think it's probably a bit later than this, but we'll try 1742. And I'm wrong, it's not later. That's actually a very good first guess. Let's bring it back a little bit. And I've moved in the wrong direction, so if I'm at least 40 years off, it has to be before 1722. But it has to be after 1702 because of the first guess. If I try 1712, which is the year exactly in the middle, then it'll probably just tell me that I'm within 10 years and I still won't know which way to go. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to err on the side of one side of the other, or the other. So we'll go for 1705. Okay, but this is very helpful, so I'm at least three years off. And we know that it can't be before 1702. So that means we definitely have to move it later. So it's somewhere between 1708 and 1715, I think. Let's just pick the year that ends in zero, because that always seems to be correct. Oh, that's not worked, so let's try the year that ends in 5, because if it doesn't end in 0, it often ends in 5. Okay, and my logic has failed, but at least we're within 2 years, so it can be 13, 14, 16 or 17. Is there anything else that rules any of those years out? Well, yes there is. 1705 is within 10 years, so it can't be 16 or 17. So it has to be 1713 or 1714. Let's try 1714. Okay, we'll try 1713. So we got there in seven, which is ironic given that I was typing the digit seven so many times, being in the 1700s. So I was only 29 years off with my first guess. I suppose my instinct was that it was a bit later than that, a bit more recent, but clearly the instinct that made me type in 1742 in the first place was stronger and was correct. So quite happy to get that in seven. It's more guesses than it should have been, given that I was only eight years away over here, but it's always better than failing. It's very difficult to get things spot on in this game, especially the further a go in history the event is, so I'm quite happy with that. Let me know how you got on. That's the Yeardall puzzle for today. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.